Hey from Xtrun here, in this video we're going to show you how to make a 3D floating text inside of Premiere Pro. First thing we are going to do is make this to 50% and we are going to select here a rectangle tool and we're going to drag a rectangle over here in the preview. We're going to choose the selective tool and going to move it like this and make this to cover the entire frame. Now select the graphic here, go to effects control, and we're going to change the opacity over here to 50%. Go to effects, and we're going to type here in corner, and drag in corner pin. And we're going to change this here back to fit. So the main thing what we are going to do with the corner pin is we're going to track some things that are in the shot. So you do need to have a shot with quite a lot of visual reference to make it easier for you to track something. But also uh, you do need to have like a movement forward or backwards uh, dolly shot that makes it works the best with uh, these kind of shots or this effect. So now we are going to search for uh, things we could follow. So I think this sign of Sasa works, works should be the best. So we're going to click here on corner pin. We have these blue circles on each uh, edge or each corner. And we're going to drag this one over here. So we're going to follow this sign on this edge. And we're going to grab this here in the corner and we're going to drag it so we can follow. So the main thing why we are using this rectangle and filling the screen entirely with a red is so we can actually visually see this edge because if we're using a text it would be transparent and be difficult to see uh, the edges of this square or this rectangle. So the next one we're going to grab this corner over here and I can see like a nice reference point here. So we're going to follow this line here and this looks slightly straight enough. So we're going to move this last corner and move it like this. Let's see, I think the keyboard top here. So we follow this line here and we have here, this looks okay. So we're going to click all these stopwatches to turn on the animate uh, keyframes. And we'll now move this timeline all the way to the end. We're going to hit the left arrow keyboard to go one frame back. So we now see the rectangle again. And we're now going to click corner pin here. So we get these circles again. And also remember where you we were tracking. So we're going to move this back here and move this on the bottom here. Just like that. And this was over here. There is somebody blocking the view a little bit, but it should still be easy to track. And like this. that. So now when we actually see this moving, it isn't 100% perfect, but still it does look like it's doing the job well. So now we can actually turn off the corner pin effect here. And now use the T tool here or press T on your keyboard and we can now click onto the preview screen and start typing something. So I'm going to type in subscribe to Shongda and, and move this text like this. And let's make this uh, space a little bit smaller between the text like that and move this back in the middle, also move the anchor back in the middle. And now we're gonna make sure that the corner pin is at the bottom. So 
not that the text is here on the bottom but the corner pin so move this to the bottom here and now we can turn on the corner pin and now actually turn off the shape so now when we play this we have this text floating so it's 3d floating and we can also adjust a few things so when we want to adjust the size and also the placement we need to go to here to this transport transform here so here we can actually scale it down and also move it down but we can't do it too far however we can also animate it to appear so that it comes up like this which might be quite interesting so let's actually do that we're gonna go here gonna hold on shift arrow to the right three times gonna click here to add a keyframe move this to the front and move it all the way down so that the text disappear now right mouse click on this and add a bezier and make this that now when we play this we have this text coming out and this 3d text floating so this is like a nice way to have your title or like something happening so that was how to add a 3d floating text inside of premiere pro hope you guys found this a very useful tutorial if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you the next time bye bye